All right, welcome everyone to the very first episode of the Mars Hydro SP250 grow light and growing peppers in different pH levels hydroponically. So in the one of the episodes I did a little while back, I grew lettuce at different pH levels, and the link for that will be right up here or at the end of the video if you want to watch that. And this is kind of a continuation of that, but it's not going to be one video, it's going to be a series of them. Uh, so in this video, what we're actually doing is get, just getting the seed started. I'm going to kind of go over how I do that. Now, this is not uh, just a set in stone kind of way to do it. This is just what I'm doing. Um, so right now I got these four rock wool cubes, and they're just kind of soaking in a solution of 10 to 1 hydrogen peroxide to water. You don't necessarily have to do that. I'm just doing that to kind of prevent maybe some uh, fungal or mold issues that might uh, potentially occur. Uh, however, you could just soak them in water. It doesn't really matter all that much. Um, it's just a precautionary thing. So what I am going to do is let them soak for a little while. They've been soaking for a few minutes already, and I'm just actually going to put them in uh, some regular water to kind of rinse them a little bit. Um, then I got my little cups here, my net pots. These are a little bit bigger than I really want to use, uh, simply because these cubes don't really fit in these, so I have to use my clay pebbles, as you see over here. Uh, it's how I've been doing it for a while. Um, I actually would just prefer to stop filling it with these. It's just much easier to get a net pot that fits the cubes, and that way you don't really have to use any of the pebbles. Uh, however, the upside to using pebbles is they do retain some moisture. The roots grow through them. Um, they, may, they maintain a little bit of aeration. Uh, it really depends on what you're growing. It doesn't always matter, but it doesn't always hurt either. So that's just what I'm using for this video. And I got my seeds right here. Uh, these are the exact same seeds I grew uh, in a previous video, not not for pH stuff, but actually for uh, just another video, uh, I was testing out some different lights, the uh, QG LED light strips. If we're going to watch that video, it's going to be right up here at the top of the video. These are just basically jalapeno peppers. Um, this is actually uh, more of a hybrid, but that's all this really is. Uh, so what I'm going to do now is take these cubes out of here, rinse them in some water, and then we're going to put the seeds in them. So I'm just rinsing out the peroxide solution. Uh, it's not really necessary to do so. I just want to make sure that the seeds don't get burnt in any kind of way. Um, because sometimes when you are pre-soaking seeds, you can soak them in a uh, solution of hydrogen peroxide just to make sure you kill any mold spores that might be on them. Uh, but you definitely don't want to be grow trying to grow it in a hydrogen peroxide solution. So I'm just kind of doing a precautionary measure here and kind of rinsing away some of the peroxide solution just to make sure it doesn't burn the seeds out at all. Now you could also actually take the rock wool cubes and soak them in a very light nutrient solution. Uh, but the thing is, is about when it comes to seeds, you don't really need to do that because the seed already contains pretty much all the nutrients that it needs to start growing. Um, sometimes if you do soak these in a nutrient solution, uh, you might be able to get maybe a little bit better growth to start off, but it's not really necessary because these are going to be put in a solution pretty much right after they start sprouting. So I would say if you're going to use a nutrient solution um, and soak the rock wool cubes in that, that really kind of just gives you a little bit more free time before you actually put them in the hydroponic setup so they can grow more in the cubes. But it is pretty important that if you aren't going to soak it in a solution, to basically just, once they sprout immediately, uh, right after, say about a week after they sprout, put them in the hydroponic solution so they can start growing. So here is my seed starting tray. I pretty much use this for all of my seed starting I've done as far as the indoor growing, the videos that I've done. Um, it is clean. I always make sure I clean it before each use and after each use. Uh, a little bit of white that you might see in actually a mineral deposit that doesn't really come off with soap and water even. Um, but anyways, this is just sitting on top of a heat mat. And I always use a heat mat to germinate my seeds just for uh, a faster germination and a, a higher success rate as far as germination and how many seeds actually germinate. And then on top of that, I just have it sitting on a wood plank, and that's just for transport. Because if you don't have it on something solid, it's, it's kind of flexible, and it, you don't want stuff falling over when you're moving around. Um, anyways, so I got my four net pots and cubes and clay pebbles here. I'm going to put them in there. I'm going to put the seeds in there. I am using four, although I only need three for the experiment. I'm just putting an extra one in there just in case. So now to put the seeds in the holes, I basically widened up the holes in the tops of these a little bit just to be able to get the seeds in there. And what I'm going to do now is basically just take this uh, toothpick, this wooden toothpick, and I'm just going to dip it in a little bit of water. And you don't really need to do this for uh, these seeds so much, but 
Uh, any smaller seed, you definitely want to do this this way. It makes it a little bit easier. It just kind of sticks to it. So basically just transport it over to here, and we're going to put one seed in here. We're going to do two seeds each, and then actually one of them will have three seeds. I just want to make sure I use all of them. So when I put it down in the hole, I don't really want to put it all the way to the bottom. Um, sorry about the lighting here. Let me go ahead and turn on another light on. There we go. So I don't, I'm not going to really put it all the way to the bottom. I'm just going to just kind of put it off to the side a little bit. And I'll do that for all of these until they're all full. And so now that I've got all the seeds in the rock bowl cubes, I'm going to just go ahead and kind of just kind of close up the holes like this. I'm just going to kind of push the sides of the holes closed. You don't need to really do this um, really a lot, just enough to make sure there's not much light that gets down in there. And if you do it loosely, it just makes it easier for the seedling to kind of push up through it. And that's all you really need to do, just kind of close it up gently. Okay, so I've got my seeds all planted in the rock wool cubes, and I put my humidity cover on the top here, and all I gotta do is set it aside and plug it in for about seven to 14 days. With the heat mat though, it should be closer to seven for these seeds. Um, so this top here, I just wanna kind of mention this real quick before I end this episode. Um, these plastic tops here, uh, this one in particular, didn't have any holes in it. Uh, I like to put holes in it, and all I did with this pretty much is just take a hot nail and just kind of stick it through there. It makes it a lot easier. If you try to do it any other, any other way, it'll pretty much crack it and tear it. It's just It just makes it easier. That's the way I did it. Uh, but I put a lot of them in here. Uh, so the point is I just wanted to make sure that it wouldn't be too high of humidity because that just creates an environment for mold or funguses and stuff like that. You really don't want that for when your seed's starting. So as soon as they germinate, as soon as I see some activity going on where it's just starting to poke up through the rock, rock wool cubes, the humidity dome is pretty much going to come off and the heat mat is going to be turned off as well. And then shortly after that, they'll be planted in their hydroponic containers. So that's going to be episode two after they start sprouting and we'll talk more about what we're doing with the episode further along in this series. So that's it for this episode. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one.